If you need Madden coins on any platform, check out MobileMaddenCoins.com. For a limited time only, use code CLICKWID for 20% off your entire order. Hey, what is going on guys? Clickwood here back again bringing you guys another Madden 16 Ultimate Team video. Guys, today we've got some awesome stuff in packs, so we're definitely going to be pulling quite a few packs, trying to get brand new Ultimate Legends, and as well, the 24-hour Golden Ticket Antonio Cromartie that is currently in packs. Guys, I, I think this is actually the second or third Antonio Cromartie. Maybe you guys can let me know in the comment section below. I, I'm almost for certain that there's two, but I want to say there's three Antonio Cromarties already, which is absolutely ridiculous. But you know what? That's what happens when you're a big physical cornerback. Everybody wants somebody that can go up and potentially stop aggressive catches. And that's kind of what Antonio Cromartie's good at. So hopefully this card is good enough to do that. I know that this card is a beast of an item, so, you know, hopefully it's good enough to make go up there and make those aggressive catch stops. I don't know if anything really is going to be, but we'll see, man. Hopefully we can pull one of these things, though. But, I will tell you guys, the thing that I am most excited for right now is actually these ultimate legends that are in the game right now. So we've got Derek Brooks, which if you guys don't know, Madden 25 and Madden 15, Derek Brooks has been one of my favorite players in the game. He always has amazing zone coverage. He's always a really good coverage cornerback, or excuse me, coverage linebacker that plays like a cornerback. And, uh, and then the other player is literally my favorite player of all time, Emmett Smith. Emmett Smith is the reason I'm a Dallas Cowboys fan, and this is definitely a card that I want to get. I have seen the attributes on this thing. He's like 98 speed. Ridiculous, ridiculous card. But definitely the best Emmett Smith that I can remember them making since, like, I guess before I started playing Madden. I remember there was, uh, I think in Madden 13, there was a, like a 100 speed Emmett Smith or something like that. But even still, guys, this is an amazing card. I'm super excited about it. Hopefully we can get these one of these cards. I don't know what's gonna happen, but I'm looking forward to it Hopefully we can get a an Antonio Cromartie or the Emmett or the Derek Brooks something like that would be amazing But with that said guys, let's hop in here. We're gonna be opening up some packs trying to pull this I've got what 5.248 million. You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna go all the way until we can uh, with our final 100k we're gonna pull an ultimate legend pack so uh, i think what we'll do is like 150k or so of uh of regular pro packs and then we'll go in and we'll do the ultimate legend pack and see what we can get so with that being said guys let's go ahead and open these things up all right here we go guys gonna start things off here like i said with some pro packs and then we'll end it with the ultimate legend pack um obviously guys the ultimate legend packs can give us our best chance for one of those golden ticket or ultimate legend items but uh, I'm not for certain that we're going to pull anything. We haven't really gotten great pulls this year, to be honest with you. Um, I've gotten a couple limited editions, but really nothing super spectacular. So, um, you know, hopefully we can get something today. That would be freaking amazing. I know the year is kind of starting to definitely start to slow down. Uh, but these golden tickets are always the best cards that come out each year. Uh, or among the best cards at, at bare minimum. So, uh, you know, obviously pulling one of these would be amazing because it's not going to lose a ton of value over the next couple of weeks and months. So definitely, hopefully, uh, looking forward to something like that. But we'll continue on here. Either way, nothing pulled yet. And we get a 78 there, Michael Brockers. I know, guys, I haven't been doing as many pack opening videos lately, and I hope you guys understand. It's just one of those things where uh, it, it's difficult. It, it really is to continue and do, like, a consistent video all the time uh, as we get a draft badge there. A quick add that to the set. Um, but, like, you know, it's just one of those things, man, where you just, you, over time, you, you want to open up packs and you want to do videos every single day, but it just, it starts to be a little bit of a grind. So sometimes you just got to take a step back and uh, take a little bit of time for yourself and just do, you know, what, what makes you happy. Of course, not that YouTube doesn't make me happy, but you know, sometimes it just becomes so much of a grind that, uh, that making videos every single day, just, it, it's difficult. So, you know, um, but uh, overall, though, I'm, I'm still enjoying it. I'm still enjoying Madden for the most part. There's frustrating things in the actual gameplay, but I will say the Ultimate Team game this year, I think is such a huge substantial upgrade to what we've had in the years past, uh, especially last year's game. We just didn't have good odds in packs, and this year we still don't have good odds in packs, but at least there's a ton of stuff to do in the game. Even if you open up crap as we get a Matt Castle there, gold. Um, but even if you open up crap in your packs, like, you still can go in and you can do solo challenges. They've got the Gronk solo that's going to set you up with a good card to start off next year's game. So it's definitely nice that they're continuing to, to put good stuff in the game and keep it fresh 
through at, at least at this point I don't know if that's how it'll continue but I, I definitely think that it's a good start um, to the kind of winding down of Madden we still got like I said a ton of stuff to do in the game um, I don't even know it, it looks like it's it's one of those things where it's almost too much stuff to do like unless you're somebody that just has all the time in the world I don't know how you could even possibly play all the solo challenges go in and play salary cap do draft champions and then of course still play head-to-head -head mutt I mean gosh it, it's just it's insane how much content they have this year in the game the salary cap thing has uh, in my opinion kind of revitalized a lot a lot of things for people I know um, they're doing that tournament and um, you know that's of course making things interesting as well as we're getting close here we've got about maybe about 10 pro packs left here um, before we'll go ahead and open up our ultimate legend and I'm gonna go ahead and add this draft badge here I want to say that Hynoski is actually worth something. I know it was earlier in the year. I'm pretty sure it was worth something earlier in the year. But we'll take a look at that after. Or you guys can maybe let me know in the comment section below if it's worth anything. And if, I'll probably forget about it, to be honest with you. But, um, but again, man, I, I love that there's so much to do this year. And the salary cap thing, kind of like I said, revitalizing the game at this point. Draft Champions has been fun this year. Um, and we get an Aaron Henderson campus hero there, gold. Still haven't even pulled a single elite out of all these packs that I've opened, but that's Madden 16 for you this year. You're, you know, eight, what is that, nine months into the year. Hold on, June, July, August. Yeah, nine months into the year of Madden, and you still can't pull freaking base elites that are worth like 4K in packs. Ugh, I don't know, man. I know you could definitely pull better stuff now, so that's always good. But, like, the, as we get three golds in this pack, we get a kicker, a fullback, or a halfback, and then a uh, another one. But still, four, that's crazy. I don't think I've ever had four golds in one pack. But, I mean, they're all worth nothing, of course. Like, I mean, that's, that's I guess, the point um, that I'm trying to make is, like, all this stuff right now, other than, like, if you get an extremely rare gold, even those aren't really worth a whole lot anymore. Um, it, it's hard to really make your coins back on pro packs at this point, even if you get, like I said, a base elite. So to me, I feel like they're, they should boost the odds on like the lower price boost base elites just so that we can, uh, you know, it, let's say you were starting up right now, a new Madden team. Wouldn't it be nice to actually be able to have like decent players on your team at least? You know what I'm saying? Like not necessarily the super studs. I'm not asking for that, but like. You know, having like an 86 overall player at, at every position or better. You know, not just crap. As we get our first elite out of this entire video, by the way. Geno Atkins there. Defensive tackle. Like, this card should be extremely common to pull. It should be something you get out of like, you know, this card or better. Uh, one out of every like five packs. Seriously. But uh, it, it's just not the case. I don't I don't understand it. I, I don't get why they, are, they hold out so much on just the base elite cards even. I don't get it. I, I mean, I guess it it disincentivizes people, uh, disincentivizes people from uh, from opening packs is, is really what I'm getting at. I mean, st people are still going to do it, of course. They're not they're not going to be thrown off by uh, by bad pack odds as, as we've seen over the years. Uh, but in my opinion, they should just boost it up a little bit so that people, if they're starting off new for whatever reason, they could actually still put together a decent team for a moderately decent price. But, you know, it is what it is. I guess he can because you could still go out instead of opening packs. You could just go in and actually just buy the cards that you want, which I guess is kind of, you know, uh, going to my point that I made earlier that these cards aren't worth very much at this point. So, um, I mean, if you had 200,000 coins, let's say, to start, if you just didn't went and did a journey solo, um, like went through all the journey, uh, one of the journeys, you would get, you know, a couple hundred thousand coins plus a bunch of packs. So, I mean, that would at least get you, a, if you didn't spend all those coins on packs and contracts and stuff like that, um, that would at least get you some base players uh, that are decent if you went in there with your 100, 200,000 coins or so and actually just bought players that you wanted at each position. You could still put together an okay team, I guess, but, um, I, I mean, my point, though, is, that, like, you just don't pull the base elites in these things. It's crazy. It's really just crazy. And we get a veteran pack there, so uh, we'll open up that as well before we get to the uh, ultimate legend pack. We'll do one more here. This is going to put us under 5 million here on this video, but that's okay because uh, we can just quick sell to get back up over the 5 million mark. So not a big deal. And then hopefully we pull something in our ultimate legend pack. I know we haven't pulled anything in this pro pack. This is the best thing we've pulled. We get an NFL Movers Byron Maxwell, 90 overall. Uh, definitely not the best card in the game by any means. I don't think this is going for very much at all, but but um, let's see here, 93 speed, 90 acceleration, 
decent attributes, but let's see what the man coverage zone coverage combination is here. Because that's really what matters, I guess, for the cornerbacks. 97 zone covers. That's actually pretty beast, to be honest with you. But um, some of his other attributes just aren't much. 82 for hit power is actually pretty damn good as well. 94 press is nice, although you typically want to run press with man coverage. But still... Uh, decent card here, so uh, yeah, I guess that's the best pull out of the Pro Packs. So that should go to tell you the Pro Packs are not where it's at today. <laughs> the Pro Packs are definitely not where it's at. Let's go back here, though, and open up the Veteran Pack. I actually have a couple of other things that I'm going to be doing here. Uh, tonight, I'm going to be recording a video with uh, that dude, Sly. And uh, we're going to be opening up a bunch of large quick sells. At least, uh, I think we're going to do at least 10. We might end up doing two different videos. So you might do 20 total large quick sell packs. And if we do, that would actually be, you know, fun to do. And, uh, and I would boost up my coins certainly a lot. Or potentially, depending on the type of video that we do, I might lose all of those 20 large quick sells. That, that definitely could happen. But uh, we've got one veteran pack here. And we've also got an all pro pack. Actually, I forgot. I have to uh, redeem that veteran pack, but thankfully we've got one here, so we'll just open that, and then I'll remember to do that later to redeem it. So let's open up the veteran pack. Hopefully we get something amazing out of this. Probably not, because I think you get like two golds or something guaranteed, and there they are. Absolute crap and a badge. So yeah, nothing in the veteran pack, but we've still got our ultimate legend pack. So this is it, guys. This is to see if we can actually get something decent here in today's pack opening. In the Ultimate Legend packs, you do get eight gold or better items, four other player items, and one guaranteed Ultimate Legend item. So it's probably going to be a collectible or uh, the Ultimate Legend badge, which those things aren't going for very much anymore. But uh, and, and definitely the Ultimate Legend, uh, the collectibles for the most part, unless it's on a really rare player are not going for a whole lot. So what we're hoping for is that one of these eight gold or betters or one of the, uh, or, or the ultimate legend item is an ultimate legend itself. That would be freaking amazing. So here we go, guys. This is probably not going to work out for us. This is a really bad investment. I would not recommend this, but because I've got a ton of coins and I'm going to be hopefully getting some more over the next day or two, uh, we're going to go ahead and open this thing up. Wish me some luck, guys. Here we go. Come on, 100,000. Hopefully we can make 100,000 back. And if we can't, you know what? We'll just put it towards a large quick sell, I guess. So first thing, Brandon Williams. And then we get a Mike Nugent campus hero. Card art didn't work there, but a 95 overall kicker. There it goes. It's finally loaded. It's actually kind of a cool looking card. I love the campus hero art, the artwork this year, by the way. We'll continue on here. Chad Greenway. And we get another elite. This is the ultimate legend badge. I think those are still going uh, today because it's ultimate legend packs are in the game. They might they're probably quite a bit cheaper, but I think they were still going for like 25k the last time I checked. So we'll have to see what they're going for. Major right, Nate Washington. We get an elite here. Brandon Brooks movers, 96 overall right guard. So this is definitely a good pack. We got uh, a Mike Nugent. We've got the collectible. So we've got two elites so far. Come on, final card in the pack, guys. Let's go from the back. Wish us luck. We're going to all close our eyes and wish. I believe I can fly. Woo! Come on, Emmett. Be in this pack. And it's a Rams away jersey. Son of a bitch. Anyways, guys, that is going to do it for today's video. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please do me a favor. Click that like button and subscribe to the channel if you're new. And, guys, let me know in the comments section below if you are pulling anything today. Uh, are you guys pulling packs for this Emmett Smith and Derek Brooks? Are you looking for the Antonio Cromartie? Did you pull anything? If you did, let me know in the comments section below. Thanks so much, guys. Hope you did. Good luck with your packs. And I'll talk to you guys again soon.